the five highest paying non-coding entry level tech jobs. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. If you appreciate these types of videos, go ahead, gently tap that like button, uh, comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, and the best thing you could possibly do is sharing this with somebody else because I don't have a big marketing department like all of these rich universities. I just try to get the word out there by word of mouth. So a lot of people out there think that technology is just software development and that could not be further from the truth. There are many other amazing careers out there if you're not somebody who wants to code. And that could not be further from the truth. So let's get right into the first one right off the bat, which is gonna be digital marketing. Now, by digital marketing, what I mean is paid ads, so ads that you might see on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, et cetera, also pay-per-click, that would be something you'd see on Google. And then on top of that, search engine optimization, which is what you do in order to get your website to rank at the top of Google. Now, this is a super valuable skill set. It's something that pretty much all companies out there do. At the very least, they're trying to get their website to rank, and they're probably running paid ads as well. And this is one that I have featured on the channel several times. And if you look at LinkedIn, you look at entry-level jobs posted over the last month, you type in digital marketing, you will see that there are 92,000 results. That is incredible. That means there are 92,000 entry level jobs that got posted in the last month. And when you look at how much digital marketers make, you'll see that they make about $76,000 a year, which is great. And the best thing about this career and all the other careers we're going to talk about on this list is that you can get into them with no experience and without a college degree. Now, one thing that's great about digital marketing, in my opinion, just from the people that I've worked with and just talking to a bunch of different people, is that digital marketing tends to be good for a wide range of personalities. There's some careers out there that are much better for people who are analytical, some careers out there that are much better for people who are artistic. And by the way, we're gonna talk about a few of those later on in the video. But digital marketing tends to be good for a wide different range of personalities out there, whether you're analytical or artistic or some version of both. Chances are you're gonna find some sort of specialty within digital marketing that really appeals to you. So yeah, digital marketing, phenomenal choice, has a ton of demand and a ton of upside. The next one, on the other hand, is going to apply to specific personality types, however, and that is going to be tech sales, also known as sales development representative, business development representative, and software sales. So this is exactly what it sounds like. Tech sales, you're in the technology industry and you are selling. Now, you're not going to be selling to individual people. This is going to be business to business type sales. And the different names, sales development representative, business development representative, uh, there can be small differences like inbound versus outbound, etc. But I'm just all bunching them together. And it's more of a focus on building relationships with these companies rather than kind of like a sketchy, you know, used car salesman type of thing where you're just trying to like put pressure on people right on the spot. Uh, to go into a really bad deal. It's much more about building long-term relationships and making sure that both parties benefit from the arrangement. Now, if you type in business development on LinkedIn, you see 284,000 results posted in the last month for entry-level jobs. If you type in sales development, you'll see 103,000 results posted in the last month for entry-level jobs absolutely ridiculous. And this is one of the few careers where you can legitimately switch careers with zero experience and get into a new job in something like one month. And that is why I interviewed my friend Troy from Course Careers because he has been getting people jobs in one to two months consistently in tech sales. He trains people in tech sales, then he actually gets them interviews with these companies automatically. So you don't even have to go through the process of applying. And business development representatives make about $79,000 on average. There's also a bunch of different roles that they can move into. Some of them have to do with sales. Some of them don't necessarily have to do with sales. So there's a lot of room for horizontal and vertical growth. For instance, somebody that I'm going to be interviewing on the channel very soon, Antoine, makes over $500,000 a year in tech sales. So yeah, it can be an absolutely phenomenal career. If you are interested in tech sales and you want to learn more about it, Troy does have a free training, which I will put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And if you do decide to use his service where he will you know, train you and and get you interviews. Uh, I do have a $50 off coupon. You can check that out. I believe it is Shane 50. Number three on the list is going to be good old information technology. And this is basically where you take care of all of the computer needs within a company. And there's a bunch of different specializations within IT. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Now, if you type in information technology over the last month at the entry level, there is 135,000 jobs that have been posted on LinkedIn. Again, that is just phenomenal, especially at the entry level. 
people. And typically, if you work in IT, you can expect to make about $72,000 a year. And if you specialize further, you can make much, much more than that. So yeah, IT, really solid option. If you're somebody who is really good with computers, technology, kind of troubleshooting and problem solving, or you just naturally enjoy that type of thing, definitely I would recommend this one. The next one is going to be UX and UI design. And these are actually technically separate, although many people learn both of them. UX is user experience and UI is user interface. User experience tends to be a little bit more analytical, whereas user interface is much more artistic. Now, this is one I highly recommend that you look into if you're artistic and you want to work and get paid as an artist. I'll just be blunt with you. There aren't that many jobs out there that you can make money, especially good money as an artist. Usually, if you want to make money as an artist, you have to go off, start your own business and make your own way. UX and UI design is one of the few exceptions. So yeah, user experience is all about creating the optimal customer journey on whatever website or sales platform you're using. And then UI is all about making the website unique, uh, staying true to the brand and also making it aesthetically pleasing. Now, at the entry level over the last month, you see that UI and UX design has 13,000 job postings. UI design has 34,000 and UX design has 16,000 all in the United States and all at the entry level. So that is really solid, especially for an art related career. Now this one typically does take a little bit longer to get into than some of the other ones on the list. But again, it's an art related career. So it's one that I do recommend to people if they really have their heart set on making money in the arts. And you can make really good money with this, $87,000 a year. The next one on the list is for people who are extremely analytical and they like math and statistics and analyzing data. And that is going to be, of course, data analysis. So as a data analyst, you would be helping to collect, store, analyze, and interpret data. This is one of the most valuable skill sets that you can have right now. There's articles on the internet that say like data is more valuable than gold or oil, and it's true. Because if you think about it, uh, let's say your company is running ads and they sell ferret backpacks. So if they put an ad for a ferret backpack in front of, you know, let's say a million people, maybe a hundred of them are gonna buy it. But if they put an ad for a ferret backpack in front of a million ferret lovers, thousands and thousands of them are gonna buy it, maybe something like 10,000. So you're probably gonna end up getting 100X or even more for the money that you spend. And that is why data is so incredibly valuable. Now, when you look up entry-level jobs posted over the last month for data analyst, you have 191,000 results, which is amazing. And as a data analyst, you can expect to make $77,000 a year. Now, this is another one of those jobs where you can move into a bunch of different roles as well. You could become like a project manager, manager or a product manager, there are going to be many, many different options down the line. Check out this interview I did with Abdul right here who went into tech sales and was able to make over $70,000 a year in their first year. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tried to keep it quick. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And I will see you next time.